Wash out. You are live. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the day after Christmas live stream. Let me go live on TikTok also. Hello everyone, please let me know if you can hear me or not. All right, three, two, one. We are live on YouTube and on TikTok. And hopefully, I've got all the other things set properly. Yeah, let us know if uh, you can hear Rachel and if you can hear me and there shouldn't be any echoes. Um, I think I configured everything correctly. Hopefully. Yeah, and if you can um, hear us both clearly. Well, all right, guys. So thank you very much for joining us for this last minute uh, live event. Nothing really special. We were just kind of sitting around this morning. I think. A lot of people have off today, and um, we thought, you know what, let's go live and uh, see what people are up to. Cello Prof just said, hi, Sam. Hello. On TikTok. Oh, perfect. If you want to interact, I will probably mention this several times throughout the live event. If you want to interact with us, uh, leave a comment um, in the chat. You can also jump over to YouTube if you want, or if you're on YouTube, you can jump over to TikTok, whatever you prefer. We're on both today. Uh, the Checkered Eye Project said, I can hear you clearly, and also me, so that's good. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, good, good. Finally, we, we got it right. <laughs> <laughs> First try. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's only taken like six years to <laughs> figure it out. I don't think we've been doing lives that long. but <laughs> No, no. Uh, cello prof said I started using a cane in May and I love it. Well, good. Well, props to you, cello prof. <laughs> um, ch are you cello? Is that what Win you, know, you haven't watched Wednesday yet? Rachel no. hasn't seen Wednesday, but is that what she's using? And is she, is, does she play in the cello in in Wednesday? If anybody knows, uh, it's pretty awesome if she is. Um, but that's great, cello prof. Uh, I'm happy to hear that you're using the cane and it's going well. You know, I'm sure you can you can relate that is the you know there's there's good days and bad days when using the cane or I guess good outings and bad outings and um, even I've been I've been a cane user for a couple years now even I have some days where it's just like Ugh, I don't want anybody staring at me all the time and um, I would definitely say the benefits outweigh the negatives though. Oh yeah, yeah. Like even today, I I ran to the UPS store and. Um, I didn't use the cane because my daughter pulled right up to the door and I just jumped out and went in. And I also also didn't use it because I know that I've used it so many times in the UPS store that they know who I am. And so as soon as I walk through the door, like, hey, you picking up your packages? Hold on, we'll grab them for you. And it's because, I yeah, think, because the- You've trained them. <laughs> I've advocated for myself with the cane. I wonder if they thought it was weird that you came in without a cane today. Probably. <laughs> Thought I was being a faker. <laughs> uh, he said, experienced all the fun of feeling like I have to fake it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a real thing, man. People people get surprised when we talk about that. But And then those of us who are cane users can totally relate, especially if you're in the middle of the spectrum like I am. Um, you do. You have to fake it sometimes. Uh, yeah. You feel like you have to fake it. You don't have to, but you feel that's what everybody expects. Um, okay, let's see. There's quite a few people in YouTube now. We've got Blind Larry, Joshua Schramm, Sarah Diaz from Portugal, oh, awesome. Nancy Irwin, Mike Wheeler. Hey, Mike. Um, Brian Cooper, and he says he's legally blind and can't afford any of the visual, visual aids you have. I live on SSDI and barely pay rent, utilities, etc. And Brian, I would strongly encourage you, if your state has a, some sort of office for the blind, um, to reach out to them, especially if you're trying to be employed or um, go to school because at least around here and I know some other states too and it's not the same everywhere but around here if you are really wanting to get employed or get education so that you can become employed um, they are very helpful with getting some of those aids to you yeah 
Yeah, so. voc rehab, vocational rehabilitation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then if that's not, you know, if you're if you're older than that or um, that's just not one of your goals and you wouldn't qualify, there are personal grants. You know, here in Kentucky, there's two personal grants that um, I know some people will apply for each year. Um, the Some of these thing, these uh, companies will also offer discounts. I know Orcam had a big discount around... Black Friday, holiday time. Um, there's... You might want to reach out to your local Lions Club, too. They may have some yeah. sort of grants or have, you know, knowledge of who you could get in touch with. Because one of their main missions is for working with people that it's are vision, blind. Yeah. yeah, it's visions. So. Yeah, uh, and then even these national organizations, like uh, NFB has a grant that they, they, they award each year uh, and give people equipment. Um, ACB does as well, I believe. So, you know... There are options. It's just you might have to do a little research, do a little work for it. But no, I hear you. Uh, that's one of the most common um, comments I get on my videos is that stuff's too expensive. And I hear you. I hear you. Um, I try to do not feature not as expensive things. I've got some, some things coming up soon that are sub $100. I mean, it, you know, still might be... It's still pricey when you're on a tight budget. Yeah, but. yeah, but, you know, some options. Yeah. Um, okay, we got a bunch more in here. Carrie Morales is in here. Hey, Carrie. Which, Carrie, did you just switch? Switch, because Carrie on accessibility is also in here. I'm assuming that's the same Carrie, right? Yeah, she, yeah, that's she her new. She must have switched uh, accounts. Yeah. Um, Nancy Irwin said, it, getting stuck in grass sucks, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there's you got to get the right tip. Um, so check out my my cane tip video, uh, not tips for canes, but actual cane tips, uh, where I talk about all the different types of tips out there. There are some all terrain tips, or tips that work better in different situations like that. You know, I tell people all the time, tips are kind of like shoes. I did a presentation at an elementary, and I was talking to these kids, and I was talking about different types of canes. And I, I kind of use that analogy that, that cane tips are a lot like shoes. You know, when the kids come home and they might take off their school shoes and they might put on their dirty sneakers to go out and play. Or in the wintertime, they're going to use their boots, their snow boots. Now when they're going to go play baseball, they put on their cleats. Yeah, yeah. Um, ice skates, whatever. You know, it's it, and canes are a lot like that too. You know, if, if you're going to the beach, you're going to grab the beach tip if you're going to you know you're going to be walking on a lot of concrete you might grab a rolling tip so you know it might be good to kind of add a couple new tips to your arsenal to your fleet okay who else we have in here we have without limits budgets with aaron lynn and uh latest fam um dark queen hi dark queen joker Welcome. alice emma donnelly um William Davis here also. Um, and real quick, you guys on TikTok, if you're watching on TikTok, you might not be able to hear Rachel very well because she's. Yeah, let us know if you can't hear me. Yeah, let me know. Rachel's not mic'd for TikTok. She's mic'd up for YouTube, oh. but not TikTok. Because oh, um, okay. I'm doing this through the phone and I don't really know a good way to do that. Um, yeah, Cello Prof, let us know because Cello Prof's on TikTok. Okay, Cello Prof. I guess I could have done my lavalier through the. See? It's, it's all continually a learning <laughs> process on how to best do this stuff. Never get it right. Um, someone did ask a question. Let me see here. Oh, Blind Larry said, I'm wondering if there's been any new LED cane. I'm looking to buy my first cane, and I like the light-up canes. Oh, he's... He's getting up. He's getting up. You guys all got to see he's still in his jammy pants. <laughs> it's the day after Christmas, so You're of course not, yeah, I'm I in am my too. jammy pants. I, I'm totally in my jammy pants as well. Skyler's the only one that got dressed today. <laughs> so who was that that asked the question? Um, Blind Larry. Blind Larry. So this is a new cane uh, prototype, and I just lit it up. Um, this is a full-size rigid cane. This does not fold up, and it lights up completely. has a button. Oh, and I just ran out of... Oh, I just ran out of juice. <laughs> you guys got to see the last... Oh, oh. No, there it is. There it is. It's got a, still got a little bit in there. There it is. Um, so full light up cane, even has a little vibration motor. Here, let me see if you guys can hear it. So. Um, what does that do? The like if you, sorry. 
That's all right. Yeah, no. Um, the vibration, if the cane is lit up um, and the button is in the on position, then the cane will vibrate when you push the button. Separate button. There's two buttons. Um, and But if the cane light is in the off position, when you push the vibration button, nothing happens. So it lets the totally blind person know if the cane is on or off, if the light is on or off. Okay. So that is a new cane, um, not fully on the market yet. I will have a video coming out um, in the next month or two, I believe. Um, the other light up cane, the Giza hand cane, apparently isn't available in the US anymore. Uh, I think the distributor that was selling it here in the US has stopped selling it. Uh -huh. uh, it was being sold by the low vision shop up in Maryland. Uh, the low vision shop .com. so you could reach out to them and see if it is still available I don't know maybe they still have a couple in stock but um, I heard somewhere that they were gonna be discontinuing that sometime soon but it's it's a um, English uh, from UK I believe so maybe still sold in the UK somewhere I'm not sure oh and someone uh, beauty is blind just said what are the features of the cane I am blind and from the UK so that well, might be go. one for you to look into yeah, so the uh, the Giza hand, Giza as in in Egypt, Giza hand, LED cane. Um, it's just a regular fold up cane, a standard. Uh, I don't know the size is four segment fold up cane, um, golf golf grip, golf club grip. But the bottom section has LEDs in it, and when you insert the battery into the handle, the LEDs light up. Um, and so it adds a ton of visibility, you know, for, for low vision users, you might get a little bit of like headlights on a car kind of effect. So you can see where you're going, <laughs> but not really. Um, it's more visibility for people around you so that they can see you out in the dark. If you're and crossing stuff. the street or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Safety thing. Okay. But it works really well. Um, someone's asking, um, do you know what the price for the light up canes are? Any odd chance? They're they're kind of pricey. Um, the the Giza hand LED cane I think is like a hundred and twenty. I mean they're 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 kind of pricey. Um, this one here, the this new one, I'm not sure what. I don't think he's even fully set on a price yet. His name's uh, Kelvin. Really nice guy. Um, like I said, this is a prototype that I have and. Um, I did an evaluation and I'm going to be doing a, a full on video here very soon. Uh, so I don't know about that, but I would imagine it's possibly over $100. Okay. Uh, Cello Prof, I just asked, how do you trim your beard? I don't have one because I can't trim it. And spoiler alert, he does not trim it himself anymore. Don't trim it myself um, anymore. Well, if, if it's short enough that I could use clippers and a guard then I could do it myself. But if if not, if I got any length on it, no, I have to either go to a barber or uh, my daughter Skylar has been, been honing her barber barber skills <laughs> and has learned how to trim a beard up pretty nicely. She just she just did this one recently and did a good job. Um, so no, I, I wish I could. I wish there was some kind of mask I could put on to where the beard would just stick out and I just trimmed off whatever was sticking out. <laughs> That would be awesome. Um, yeah, because I know I can't see myself in the mirror. Haven't been in a long time. Okay. Um, okay. So there's a bunch of questions here. Wow. Okay. You're going to have to be, uh, this is going to be like quick fire. Okay. Rapid fire. We got a fire. lot going in here. Sorry, guys. Okay. I'm going back to YouTube comments for a minute. Um, um, <coughs> sorry. Great, great to see everybody here, though. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, what? I just see. Okay, is there an app that can you can scan food items with in your kitchen to know what the items are? For example, sorry, <laughs> my dad was just calling Rachel me. Just gets sorry, a phone dad. call. Um, yeah, so is there an app that you can scan food items in your kitchen to know what the items are, like canned goods and stuff? Yeah, yeah. So Seeing AI has has um, you can use to on on which is on iOS. You can use to scan text and read that. Um, it also will do barcodes, I believe. Uh, yeah, I believe it will. Um, Google Lookout on Android will do that. There's a great app called Digit Eyes on iOS that will scan barcodes and um, read those out loud. And it will also let you print off barcodes and, and um, scan them and then record your own voice message. So if there is something like medication, 
you can scan scan the barcode, put the barcode sticker on there, scan it, and then record your own voice message. That's digit eyes only for iOS. Uh, but yeah, there, in, in Vision we'll do these. There's a lot of apps that will do that, either scanning the barcode or scanning the text. Okay. Um, another question is, oh, hi Sam, it's uh, Kelvin here, the maker of the See Me Cane. Oh, Kelvin, I just, <laughs> I was just talking about you. <laughs> Kelvin's actually in, he's the one that makes this light-up cane, the See Me Cane. So if you, anyone has questions specifically about the See Me Cane, if you uh, put them in the comment section of the YouTube, maybe Kelvin can answer them because he's going to be the expert. Yes. Okay, um, do you know if there's a Blu-ray player with a screen reader? I, we're not very familiar with Blu-ray, are we? Uh, no, I mean, so any kind of streaming things, you know, the, the screen reader reads the, um, it doesn't read anything in the movie. Uh, the movie would be, have to set up, have to be set up for audio description there. So it's only going to read menus, things like that. So in that regard, um, the Xbox, uh, is a blue, Blu-ray player that will, that has a screen reader built in, um, PlayStation does. So those do. I don't know of any like standalone Blu-ray players that have a screen reader built in. Yeah, and they might, but we're just they might, it's not just, on our radar. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I can't remember who asked, but someone said they got a new, some sort of kitchen appliance. I want to say toaster oven. That as uh, they said buttons instead of dials, or maybe they meant touch screen. I'm not sure. And asking how to use it, but I would say bump dots, right? The old school bump dots. That's really the best way. Some of these devices, they actually will offer a braille template that you can also order. Um, not many will do that though, but, but yeah, just bump dots. So get bump dots. They're little, they're little adhesive backed bumps of all different shapes, sizes, colors, and you just put them on the important buttons that make sense for you. You have to create your own system. Yeah, if you on Sam's channel, he has a, a, a the kitchen tour, right? Yeah, my accessible kitchen um, video. I show my bump dots. I've got a standalone video about bump dots, but it's like seven years old. It's so old, <laughs> but still, it gives you good information. Same, same information, but yeah. yeah, I mean, Sam has them on our microwave, yep. on our oven on our dishwasher. washer and dryer our dishwasher i put them on the the f and j keys of all of my keyboards just to make my home row key easier to find yeah. um so yeah they're super helpful and if you need some bump dots i've got them in my amazon shop which is amazon.com slash shop slash the blind life and they're not crazy expensive no <laughs> the ones that i've got in there are not actual bump dots so you can get legit bump dots that are kind of pricey but you can also use furniture. Um, it's kind of like a little thing uh, that you would put underneath something that you're going to put on top of something like, else so it doesn't scratch the thing. Yeah, underneath the base. <laughs> yeah. Or, or, you know, you're going to put on the cabinet door so it doesn't bang the, the sh when yeah. you close it. Just don't get the felt ones because those you can't clean. And if it's no. on a toaster oven, you're going to want to be able to clean it. So the ones we have, they're like a rubbery, plasticky. Yeah, and you can get thing. you can get like 100 for $3. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're really, really cheap. They're really inexpensive. Yeah. Okay, um, this is interesting. Um, Maharshi Ray said, I came across your channel a few years ago when I was dating a girl who had the same eye condition as yours and I wanted to learn more. We've broken up, but I still enjoy your videos and enthusiasm. Cheers. Ah, well, That's thank you. Cool. Thank you. Um, Sorry to hear you guys broke up. <laughs> okay, Sam, what are you, this is from Carrie. What are you most excited for in 2023 in terms of AT? Oh, Carrie. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I just did a, I just did a, um, a video with the Vision Forward guys, and it was uh, best assistive technology of 2022. And it was kind of disappointing. There wasn't really much out there. Um, and I think so it's kind of the same thing. It's like I don't know because there isn't really much on the radar right now. Um, there's a couple things here and there, you know, um, I'm going to be talking about some new stuff. I know Carrie loves the talking watch. I just got these in the mail. Um, these are really fancy talking watches. <laughs> I have it upside down. Did I have it upside down? <laughs> there it is for TikTok. Focusing. And then, oh, there it goes. Oh. oh, there it is. There it is for TikTok. And here it is for YouTube. Um, but anyway, so there's, there's a couple things. I don't know. It's hard to say. I am going to ATIA, the Assistive Technology Conference, the first week of February. Uh, I'm probably going to be at CSUN. I'm also going to be at the Missouri 
um, assistive technology conference in April. So a lot of ex a lot of cool chances for me to learn about new technology. So you guys will come back and we'll we'll revisit that question in a couple months. Okay, going back to TikTok comments because there's a bunch in there now too. Um, Nightfire FX said, "Just got off my computer where I was editing your segment for the documentary we shot in September." Hi from Anna. Oh, Nightfire FX, awesome name. <laughs> Awesome. Hey, Anna. Yeah, Anna was great. So I've got some skateboarding shots in. Cool. Um, Anna had the cool hair. Oh, is that where the sandbag thing? Yep. Okay. I've got the sandbag over here with <laughs> Nicolas Cage on it. Um, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Some of these names, I'm not sure what, what, uh, how to say them. It looks like Ljun00, but it said, My vision is failing, and with it, my mental health also. With therapy, um, <coughs> any tips or advice? I think you just give yourself some time right yeah yeah it's it's and know that that's normal it's perfectly normal everybody goes through it especially um you know if someone that's losing vision like you've been fully sighted and all of a sudden it's starting to go um that's very very common and it's 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 perfectly normal and it's something that you have to kind of go through um, i always say don't try to rush it you know take your time t take it at your own pace i think you're doing awesome by by talking to somebody um, there's also, there's a lot of visually impaired therapists out there. If you wanted somebody that like fully understood what you were going through, that, that would be an option too. But there's also a lot of groups on Facebook and stuff yeah. like that too, where you can talk to people that have, have like the exact same, um, you know, uh, condition, condition that you yeah. have as well. Yeah. And then, and then, or get connected with a local organization in person, um, where I work, we have a peer support program and we do monthly meetings and we have mentoring groups and we have uh, small group, um, sessions for friends and family of visually impaired people to help them learn how to live with and take care of. So there's, and that helps a lot too, getting around other people who can relate and who are going through the, the same thing. And, um, and on TikTok, which I'm sure you've already not seen, there's just there's a lot of great people on there that are showing their lives and showing like you don't have to sit on the sidelines just because you're losing your vision. Like, yeah, it, it takes some time to get to that point. But like you can absolutely do most of the things that you did before. You just have to figure out a different way to do it. Yeah. And don't listen to the negativity. There's a lot of negativity out there as well. There is. There is. Yeah. <laughs> Even in like it's. In don't follow those people. <laughs> in Facebook groups. <laughs> Um, yeah, you have to let's focus on the positive. Filter out the crap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Beauty is Blind asked if you've ever tried the WeWalk Smart Cane. He has. I have. Got videos on it. Several right. videos on that. Um, and she also said, I'm assuming she, I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but I'm a blind makeup artist. So oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Check out my um, Working Blind series that I just put out this past, in December. Um, I had spoke with a young lady named Emily in new york city who is a blind makeup artist as well working on like commercials and productions and things like that yeah she said she used the pen friend to label all the makeup oh there you go yeah that was really cool um nightfire fx anna said any advice for editing the documentary for the sake of the visually impaired um, audio description very good yeah very good question audio description um not a lot of you know a lot of people like to put in jump cut jump cut action action you know not that there was a ton of action for me. I'm too old for action stuff. But, um, you know, that's hard to follow with low vision. It's hard. You know, once I focus on what this, the scene is, it jumps out into another one. Uh, so, you know, be conscious of that. Um, audio description, if possible, yeah, is good. Contrast is really good. Um, if you're going to put text on the screen, do it bold and, bold and big or have it yeah. read aloud. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Jesse the Blind Guy is asking if you know about the Vision Buddy. Yep, I've got several videos on the Vision Buddy, including the most recent version of the Vision Buddy. Okay, um, Harley Pickles kind of asked the same question about recently diagnosed with vision loss. Any advice, which I think you kind of covered that, but also asked if you knew of any motivational books. I'm not sure. Sam doesn't. Well, you do read books, but you don't read you don't read uh, nonfiction much. No, at all. there are a, a bunch. There's um, I I don't. Yeah, I'm not really up up to speed on that. I know there was one about the guy a guy who had a guide dog, a service dog, uh, in 9/11, and the dog led him out of the towers. Um, that one was pretty popular in in the community. 
Um, I forget what it was called, but I'm sure it'd be easy to find. Um, Jay Gomez, 1988, asked the, uh, the long-time question, Android versus iPhone, what Ooh. do you think? And remember, we're not talking on this for an hour. <laughs> you got you to gotta hit the high points and move on. <laughs> so I'm recording my TikTok on an iPhone, and my Android is right over there. So I am, I am officially both now, um, which I always have been. I, I'm I'm a diehard Android guy. I love Android. I love how it's how customizable it is. I love how you can do just all kinds of crazy cool things with Android, much more than iPhone. Um, my f- philosophy has always been: if your vision is to a certain level, uh, where you're relying more on magnification, large print, high contrast, Android is the way to go because it's so customizable. You can do all those things. But if you are to the point where you're relying more on screen reader, then, or if you're new to mobile operating systems, I recommend iPhone because voiceover is still, uh, in a lot of situations, still outperforms TalkBack. TalkBack's very, very close, but voiceover is still a little bit better. Okay. Um, sorry, were you done on that? I'm done. I, I can go on more. We got more time? <laughs> you could talk no? on Android or uh, uh, <laughs> Apple forever. But, yeah. Um, uh, JB90 Knots is asking, what's the best assistive technology for long distance as I have glaucoma? That's hard, hard to answer, isn't it? Yeah. The thing about AT is it's, 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 it's goal dependent. You know, what do you need this for? And then it's different for everybody. So what works well for me might not work for you because I don't have glaucoma. So, you know, and you don't have Stargardt's, I'm assuming. So um, it, I would try just like binoculars at first you know if, if you're just needing something to see in the distance binoculars really good binoculars with a wide a, a very large um, exterior lens so the part that you're not the one that's up to your eye but the other lens uh, the bigger they are the more light will go it can let in and the brighter the image will be um, but there's also like monoculars you know they don't work for me because they're too small but um some of the wearables like eSight, uh, Iris Vision, Patriot Viewpoint, those all work really well for distance viewing. The VR styles work the best for me, Iris Vision, Patriot Viewpoint. So um, a lot of several options. Okay. Uh, La Hafner asked, are you on YouTube? And the answer is a resounding yes. He is way more active on YouTube, has tons more videos. Yeah. And the videos he can go a lot more in depth because they're longer. I've been on YouTube for over a decade. Um, I have over 700 videos on my YouTube channel. So, yeah. Uh, everything, any of the devices you guys can think of have to ask me if I've tried. Yes, I've tried them. <laughs> and I probably have vi- several videos on them. <laughs> Kayla, the can see, can't see, which is that's funny. Perfect. Said, "Hi, Kayla here. How long did it take you to adjust to technology? I get severely annoyed with voiceover. It takes a while. It's just like anything, learning something new. And this is what I, I work with clients every single week. And this is the most important thing I try. I stress is that it's gonna take a while. It's just like learning anything new. You gotta practice." It's going, and I even tell him, I said, it's going to be frustrating. You're going to want to throw this out the window (laughs) before you get to the point where you're comfortable with it. But if you do it a little bit each day, more and more slowly, it gets, it gets easier. And I promise once you do get comfortable with it, it makes everything so much easier. I will say for the the person in the room who isn't using it, (laughs) if you're going to be using it for like, a, a, like a decent amount of time in one sitting use headphones for those around you because yeah. it's super annoying headphones or go to another room yeah yeah, yeah. okay um, and I, I also say take it slow because sometimes people will get which I've, I've experienced this is people start doing stuff and then something doesn't do what they think it should and then they start just frantically swiping and double tapping and it's like oh oh, slow down stop stop take a break (laughs) push the home button let's let's reset let's go back to the home screen and start over um because you know just frantically triple tapping and three fingers swiping and all that you know it's not going to (laughs) help okay i'm going to switch back over to uh youtube here again people are keeping me busy today um just earn their paycheck (laughs) which is a big zero. <laughs> a big goose egg. Um, sorry. Oh, okay. See, my cane said I have updated the chart, the charging with magnetic charging, and moved the buttons to the same row on the handle. Oh, cool. 
Um, someone asked how much it would cost for the Simi cane. We are hoping to keep the cost low, but right now we are at $200. Okay. Um, Mr. J has a question, and there's no way you're going to be able to answer it, but I just wanted to put it out there. It said, I'm just new to this world, and I would like to ask you about the devices. Like, what types are there, and what are the far- form sectors of them just to find what I need? And there are literally so many. Yeah, well, there's gadgets for anything you could need to do. You know, if you, you need um, help in the kitchen, there's talking scales, talking thermometers, um, large print measuring cups. I mean, there's there's things for high contrast cutting boards. There's things for any aspect of life, managing your medication. There's talking prescription options. Uh, if you need stuff to read, there's wearables. Um, there's things like the OrCam where you click a button and it takes a picture and reads it out loud to you. There's apps on your phone that will do that. And that, that's what I would kind of recommend too, is before you just to kind of test it out and see if this technology will be helpful for you is to download one of those free apps and try it out. Um, but there's, there's devices for navigation, for, for walking, um, point to point A to point B navigation, turn by turn. I mean, it, it just goes on and on. So that's why I say it kind of, you have to narrow down your focus. What's what, what goal, like what is the thing that you're having trouble with right now that you yeah. want to be able to do? And then, and then if you go to Sam with that question, he can give you much more specific yeah. answers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you can help, if you can give me some specifics, I can give you a better answer. But I also recommend reaching out to a local center. If you know, if you live, there's places like the Chicago Lighthouse, San Francisco Lighthouse, Miami Lighthouse. Or low, low vision centers. Low too. vision center, like where I work, you know. Well, I mean, in like even like eye doctors who have low vision offices right. as yeah. well, because they might be able to help. Yeah, because then you'll be able to sit down with somebody and they'll be able to do a proper evaluation and do that. Um, okay, Bethany Boring uh, commented on something else you said, but then also said, I just got the Omnicane tip thanks to your demo. Oh, awesome. I love Sam my Omni. loves it. Yep. Okay, uh, somebody asked, oh, uh, Mike Wheeler said, I'm hoping to see you when you're here in Florida. Cool. So Sam's going to be at ATIA, which I don't even know what that stands for. Assistive Technology Institute of America, I believe. Yeah, at that conference, which is at the beginning of February. Yep, it's like technically January 30th, 30 days, 30, 31st. Um, through the 4th of February. I will be there like the 1st through the 4th. And I'll be walking around. I'm also going to have a booth um, where I'm going to be doing interviews and things like that. So that'll be pretty cool. But most of the, but you, you might see me just walking around the exhibit hall. We're going to try to make sure he's in Blind Life gear the whole time so people can recognize you too. Yeah, yeah. I guess people would probably, if they watch your videos a lot, they would recognize you. Look for you. the bald head and the if beard. They, if they can see you. Yeah. Okay. Um... Without Limits Budgets asked, in Missouri, when you're coming for in April, what city are you going to? I'm in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, the conference is, is in Columbia, Columbia, Missouri. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> Do you know what the name of the conference is? Yes. Um, it's just the Missouri Assistive Technology um, Conference. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what the name of it is exactly. I know what day I need to be at the airport. <laughs> What time we'll, I need we'll, to be able. We'll look that up. <laughs> and after that, somebody's taking care of me. I don't know. I'm relying on them to pick me up. <laughs> uh, do you have a video editing software that you recommend for screen reader? You know, get the ones, try out the ones that are built in first. Like um, if you're on a Mac, Final Cut. Um, what's the other one? I forget the other one. I'm not a Mac guy. Um, on Windows, you could try the new chip Clip Champ is the new one for Windows 11. Um, I use DaVinci uh, da Resolve, and it's I've set it up now to work well with my low vision, but it's it, right out of the out of the box. It does not. It's not set up perfectly. You have to tinker with it a little bit. But um, but yeah, to start with, I would try the ones that are built in. People are saying that I'm echoing now. We changed absolutely nothing, didn't we? Yeah, something about. OBS causes an echo. Sorry, guys. Hopefully it's not unbearable. Yeah. Maybe if I speak not quite as loud, that will help. Um, okay, I'm scrolling through here, scrolling through here. Um, for the person that asked about seeing um, in distance, someone did suggest taking a photo with your phone and then magnifying that photo, which if you're not trying to like real time see something, that works well. 
Do you know of a good mobile device app to take notes on PDF docs? It's not really something you do, is it? No. Um, Evernote is my kind of go-to note application um, because it's cross-platform. You can have it on any device, even the computer, and it all syncs up. Uh, it also works really well with, with VoiceOver, um, which is generally the – I'm usually on my iPhone when I'm taking notes like that because I'm, I'm dictating. Um, so, yeah, not sure. PDFs are terrible across the, across the board with screen readers, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, okay, Remington Howell says, do you ever use air tags to find anything? I do not. No, I'm, I, believe it or not, I'm, I'm, ultimately I'm pretty cheap. I'm pretty stingy <laughs> and I don't want to spend money on stuff like that. I also, you know, I, as I said before, I'm a diehard Android guy. And so, um, I'm kind of, I, I, I'm hesitant to give Apple any more money than, than I have to. And so the air tags, I just don't see the purpose in it for me personally. It just it doesn't fit into my life or my needs. So now, um, now that being said, Apple, if you want to send me some, <laughs> happy to take them. I'm sure they're watching this yeah. live stream. <laughs> huh. um, okay, let me go back over to TikTok. Um, Jay Gomez, 1988, said, I have glasses with speakers. Those help a lot when I'm around people so they don't get annoyed with the um, talkback stuff or whatever we were talking about. I can't remember now, talkback or whatever it was. But that's pretty cool. Yeah, hang on a second. I don't hear any echoing right now. Um, no, someone said it's better now. I wonder, I moved my mic over in front of me more, uh, and um, I'm trying not to talk quite so loud. I may have been talking so loud that your mic was picking it up. Your mic is, yeah, and, and yours is kind of sensitive. I turned it down. But um, Okay. So speaking of the glasses with the headphones or whatever built into it um i just i'm currently working with a company to um do a review of something similar and uh so they may be sending me some and i i asked to get some extra pairs so that might you might see something like that in a future um talk back giveaway so you guys definitely stay tuned um if you are not aware, every every month Rachel and I do a video podcast here on YouTube called Talk Back with the Blind Life. It's around the beginning of the month, and we talk about previous month's videos and answer questions and that sort of thing. But we always do a giveaway every single month, so definitely tune in for that, and you might win something cool um, like glasses with speakers in them <laughs> <laughs> or a see me cane hey kelvin <laughs> just kidding um can see can't see said i have a really hard time asking for help was it hard for anyone to swallow their ego it was hard for sam to swallow his ego absolutely that's a very common thing um you know I, like i said i work with a lot of people who are new to vision loss and especially they've they've been independent their whole lives and then all of a sudden now they're losing their vision and they find that they have to rely more on others and it's very difficult um and the word we always hear is burden the term burden i don't want to be a burden on my family and um i always tell people to turn it around you know if if you had a friend or a loved one and they needed help with something with whatever and they asked you for help would you get annoyed with them would you think they were being a burden um Probably not. I, I would hope not anyway. Uh, <laughs> so it's, you know, humans, we like to help. So we should never be, you know, obviously the goal is to be as independent as possible. And that's what the channel is all about is helping you guys learn how to live your, your best independent blind lives. But we, at the same time, we should never be afraid to ask for help because it's impossible. It's going to be impossible for us to make it through this sided world without any help at all. So, you know, yeah, it's difficult, but we'll try to work on that one. <laughs> we all still are. I'm still like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Can I use Fusion or can I install Fusion on an iMac? Anna Maria R3 is asking that. Um, you Do guys you know? confirm, if anybody knows, it can confirm. But from what I understand, uh, it is not available on the Mac. I think they tried. Um would Carrie know this? Carrie, do you have a Mac? I know you're a big iPhone 
person. But... Carrie's, yeah, no, Carrie's, no, Carrie's not an iPhone. She's an Android. Oh, oh she might get right. mad for you sorry. saying that. I'm sorry, Carrie. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> um, she's using an iPhone now, reluctantly. Um, but no, and she's a PC girl, uh, girl as well. So, okay. but um, yeah, I think Jaws, I think um, Zoom Text, all of that, they're all Windows based. I think they they had them on Max for a little bit, but I don't think it's fully officially supported. So I would say no. I don't think that is possible. Okay, Harpreet Thin said no. You can't install Fusion on Mac OS. Only Windows. Thank you. That's what I was thinking too. All right. Thanks. Yes. Um, Ben Swagger, <laughs> diaper middle school student, said, "Why does Talkback not read on the off but on and off buttons in the settings on the Galaxy S9?" I don't know. Talk, that's the thing about Talkback. It's it's frustrating in some areas. Um, number one, make sure that you're fully up to date, obviously, because they're they're improving it each time they update um, the accessibility suite. They're improving it, so make sure you're fully up to date. But even then, it's just some random things that it doesn't work doesn't work well with. Just I, are very confusing to me. Like on YouTube, sometimes it won't read the comments, and I'm like. Google owns Android. Google owns YouTube. You own both of these programs. <laughs> Why are they not working well together? That doesn't make sense to me at all. Okay. Um, Roy Schneider said, are you aware of a watch that would give the time by coded vibrations instead of audio? Yeah. So um, the, I, the Apple Watch does that. Um, I believe my Samsung Galaxy Watch does that as well. I think that's a feature on both of them. Um, but the Apple Watch, I know for sure that if you tap it a certain number of times in a certain order, it will vibrate the time mm -hmm. instead of reading it out loud to you. Are there any, do you, know, you don't know of any non-smart watches that do it? No, I don't know of any non-smart watches that will do that, no. Okay. Um, RMK of MD said, I dread keypads at checkout counters. <laughs> Any tips? <laughs> Sam too. dreads them also. No, once again, it goes back to just asking. I, I, I don't try to do anything special. I walk up and I say, I'm sorry, I can't use your machine. I can't see well. And I hold out my card like you force them to acknowledge <laughs> you will help me. <laughs> well, and you know, the other thing now, Sam, um, so many of the cards are tappable. Yeah. I think asking is is yeah. your reader tappable or whatever and, and, just tap and this. tapping now that could be a huge huge benefit to the visually impaired yeah yeah and then there's you know things like doing um google wallet or apple pay through your smartwatch or through your phone just tapping that to the, the reader you know some of those accept that so the, but old school is i just ask for some help and they're for the most part they're always okay to do that <laughs> so i know some people have security concerns though I've, I've worked with people they said they would never hand over their card to someone else like that but my thing is this person they're seeing a thousand people in a day they're not going to remember my code or anything like that three minutes after i walk away they're you know so i'm not too worried about it okay um yeah sam is not as security <laughs> conscious as i would like him to be well, yeah we'll say that <laughs> i would not suggest i i'm fine with giving your card to someone but i would not suggest giving people your pin number no. personally that's just me oh you need my social security sure it's <laughs> two four two <laughs> um with microsoft soundscape being discontinued do you have another gps app that you recommend um well if, if anybody has any suggestions, leave those in the comments too, a GPS app. Um, there's some good ones out there. You know, nothing is perfect. There's there's kind of pros and cons to everything. Um, uh, WeWalk, I, I really like the WeWalk app, although um, last I heard it was paid for now, it's subscription-based. Um, there's one called Clue, C-L-E-W, that is kind of similar to Soundscape, where it you create um, a path as you go somewhere, and then you follow that path going back. Um, Lazarillo on Android is pretty good. Um, just Google Maps really is what I use most of the time. I mean, it's 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 not necessarily a you know indoor navigation thing, but um, works pretty well. Okay. Um, Harpreet says they use Apple Pay all the time and find it super convenient. Okay. Um, what What do you recommend for a voice watch? I'm just getting to where I can't see my big watch, and so many voice ones are hard to understand. And some of them are hard to understand. I agree. They're like jangly. 
I don't, that's not the right word. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, it sounds like it's rattling in there and it makes it hard to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about the one you just got? How's it? Let's see. This is one I just got in the mail today. I'm going to press the button. Let's see how it sounds. It's a little soft, a little quiet. Um, it's a little, this, yeah, it's a little fuzzy. But I haven't messed with any of these the, the settings. I just got it. This apparently has support for like 16 different languages, which is really cool. Um, I know that some of the watches we have at work, that if the battery starts to run down, the voice gets all kinds of wonky. Mm. So changing out the battery does help. Um, but a lot of the smartphones or smartwatches these days have pretty clear voices. So that might be an option is to go to a smartwatch. Um, Carrie says she likes Lazarillo, but it isn't perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's it, what someone else said. Lazarillo and Nav by Via Opta. But you're not really familiar with either of those too much, are you? I mean, you haven't used either one a lot because you usually just use Google, right? Yeah, it, I don't use any kind of navigation stuff. Um, when I do, it's just to, to evaluate it for a review. So um, Lazarillo I have used before. Do you know how long ago Microsoft Soundscape got discontinued? Recent, uh, right? Yeah, I just did a TikTok about that. The January third is the is the final day for downloading Microsoft Soundscape on the iOS um, App Store. So if you don't have it, download it before January third. After January third, it's only gonna be you can only use it through it's either June or July um, next summer, and then it's completely discontinued. You won't even be able to use it. But as of January 3rd, that's when it, they take it down off the App Store. Uh, they're opening up. It's going to become open source to any developer. So I'm sure someone will grab it and continue the de development and maybe put it into an, a new app or new device or something like that. But um, Soundscape as we know it will be gone. Okay. Um, Second Chance Outreach Ministry is asking, what would be the best smartwatch for a low vision or blind person to use in your opinion? It, it really depends on your pla um, what phone uh, you have. Yeah, mobile platform you use. Um, if you're an iPhone user, then Apple, be Apple Watch, because you'll be able to answer calls and text messages and all that. Um, if you're an Android user, then I really like the, the Galaxy line. I have a Galaxy. I just got a Galaxy for Christmas. <laughs> Rachel just got one yesterday <laughs> um, and she's been using it a ton she's got the the four um, of course I don't use any of the accessibility on no that, so. but um, if you if you're an iPhone user and you get an Android smartwatch you're not going to be able to do you'll be able to do a lot of stuff but you won't be able to do like phone calls and text messages through the watch mm -hmm. so that's why I just recommend getting the one that matches your mobile system um, both Apple and Android have great accessibility I, I've done reviews of both, and I think they work equally well. I, I really don't have a preference. Okay. Um, I got a bunch to catch up on here on TikTok. Um, so it said, do Android, phones have, do Android phones have a lot of magnification options? Android, Android, the base Android has the standard screen magnifier. Um, you do a triple tap with one finger, and it zooms in. You pinch to zoom, and then you use two fingers to move around. It's I, I prefer Android's magnifier, screen magnifier, over iOS screen magnifier. Um, I think it just it's more intuitive with the pinch to zoom. We're all familiar with that gesture, making something bigger. Um, it doesn't have the crazy physics built in like iOS does. People that are new to the screen reader on iOS and I'm training them for the first time, they flick that thing all around. It just goes flying all around. Android, as soon as you let go, it stops moving, which some people don't like. I prefer it that way. Um, and, but the thing with Android, that's, that's stock Android, like on the Google phones. Um, if you get like a Samsung, then you might get some extra accessibility features built in. So, um, but just stock Android, that's what it has. Okay, um, more talks on the watch. Um, uh, um, Mackenzie Parker said you forgot about the Google Pixel watch. I didn't know there was a Google Pixel watch. There was, yeah, there oh, is. I have a Google Pixel phone. Yeah. But did it not get as good of ratings? I forget exactly why I chose the Samsung over the, the Pixel. Um, yeah. And then um, 
Carrie said, Galaxy and Pixel watches are very laggy with TalkPack. Do you notice that? Um, it's hard to say because my and my Galaxy watch is the S3 Classic, which is like four or five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so it's I do notice that it's not as quick as my Apple Watch, which is more recent. Um, but uh, I figured it was just the older watch, the older processor and all that. Do you have a certain keyboard you would recommend for visually impaired person for more accuracy and increased typing speed? I use the Logic. Um, I've been a fan of Logic keyboards. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. Um, I uh, really like TikTok the, could not see that. TikTok could not, yeah. Logic keyboards are super, are, are just really high quality. Uh, they have a whole line of accessible keyboards, which is also something I like. Um, I haven't had a chance to test out mechanical keyboards. I haven't seen too many large print mechanical keyboards, but I think I would like the mechanical keyboard feel because I really hate um, flat, like laptop membrane style keyboards. And the the Logic keyboard is kind of close. It, the, the keys are, are lower than I would prefer. Um, I like a, a key that's really high and raised and there's nice separation between the keys because I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm feeling it. So um, a mechanical keyboard I think would be good, but they don't have very many large print options. Um, so I would just stick, stay away from you know, the $12 large print yellow and black keyboard you see on Amazon. I think it's like the Easy Ease or something like this. Uh, they're just easy, e. easy e. yeah. <laughs> they're just terrible. Um, they're just really crappy keyboards. Um, unfortunately, you know you're gonna have to spend some money to get a, a nice keyboard. But I mean, not too bad. And if you are low vision and you have not yet learned to touch type, strongly recommended. Touch type it is has the really way to helped go. Sam's posture and back. Yeah, yeah. I, I only learned how to touch type a couple years ago, and it wasn't difficult. I mean, Rachel was telling me for years I needed to do it, and I'm like, grumble, grumble, can't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, I'm like, okay, I guess I will. And what was the program you used? Because it was good for low vision. Uh, it's super old. It's called Talking Typing Teacher <laughs> or Talking Typing Tutor. I can never remember if it's teacher or tutor. But it's, it's, it's mainly for the visually impaired. Everything is read out loud to you. Um, it's super old. It's from uh, Ever... Something soft. Anyway the the it's hilarious the voices on there um and but aph america printing house for the blind has an a browser based typing um tutorial that is free i did a video about it so if you if you do typing lessons for the blind or something like that if you search that you'll find my videos on youtube on youtube Okay, um, Julia Oliver said, I just got an iPhone 14 Pro, wondering if any of the accessibility options have changed. Ooh, no, um, <laughs> I'm jealous. No, it's all the same. Uh, I mean, if you're up to date, what is it, 16.2, I think is what it is, then um, like I've got the 13 or the 12 Pro Max, and I'm on the latest update. Um, they're all the same. They're just, you know, they're just, they're getting better each time. They improve. Carrie said there's LiDAR on the Pro iPhones. Yeah, the Pros do have LiDAR, and you do get some extra um, extra cool things with that, like uh, edge detection. You can tell how far away people are from you and stuff like that. Um, Harpreet Thin said the Zoom Text keyboard is really good. Yeah, you know why? It's made by Logic Keyboards. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, Logic Keyboards <laughs> makes the Zoom Text keyboard. Um, okay, I'm way behind on TikTok comments. Um, can see, can't see, who had asked about um, having trouble asking for help, said, maybe I'm just surrounded by the wrong people because I'm always made to feel bad. Oh, and that yeah. sucks. Yeah, I'm That sorry. sucks, yeah. I'm sorry about Cause, that. Because the thing is, I'm sure you do stuff to help people. You know, just because you're blind doesn't mean you're helpless. And Sam does a ton. I mean, yeah, do I help him sometimes because of his vision? Yes, but he does a ton around here to help everyone else, too. So, um he he pulls his weight <laughs> yeah so i'm sorry i think you need to try to branch out and get some get some more people around you not yeah. saying dump the ones around you but <laughs> get some more so drop you, those loser you know what are the zeros <laughs> find a hero <laughs> <laughs> um, any suggestions for quick typing a message on tiktok 
Um, now, TikTok, it's getting better, but it's still not very accessible. Um, even with screen readers, some, some buttons aren't labeled correctly. Um, it doesn't even read some buttons out loud. So, uh, and then when you're dictating a message, sometimes it'll dictate the whole message. It'll put it in there. And then if I go to delete it, um, it just clicks, click, 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 click. It doesn't read back what I'm deleting. It's super frustrating. No, I'm sorry. No, no tricks. <laughs> Okay. Gotta gotta deal with it, unfortunately. Actor Scott Yates says, "How can I get a walking stick? I'm legally blind." Are you in the U.S. Number one. Yep, in the U.S. Um, if they're not expensive, if you want to just go on Amazon and purchase one, you can. You know, you can get one for twenty bucks on Amazon. Um, if you if that's not an option, you can go to the National Federation for the National Federation of the Blinds website, NFB, probably NFB.org. Um, and they have a free cane program where you can sub you can submit no you can um, request request for a free cane and they will send you one. Yeah. Um, uh, but and just FYI, um, if you're in I don't know about other countries, but if in, you're in the U.S., people don't call it a stick. Yeah, they call it a cane, and some people get real. It's yeah. They it's don't like that kind of. A, I'm trying to be better. It still gets my hackles up a little bit. <laughs> When I hear somebody call it a stick, it's because um, it's not a stick. It's it's a cane. It's an actual you know mobility tool. So we we need to give it the respect that it deserves. Um, but yeah, a lot of people do. Um, Jay Gomez, nineteen eighty eight, said, "Which Samsung phone do you have?" I just upgraded. So first thing you should know, once again, I said it earlier. I'm super cheap. I don't want to spend money, so I never buy the latest brand new thing. Um, I always buy used. We always get used here. So um, I just upgraded to the Note 20 Ultra, um, which was the last Samsung Note. I love the Note series. Oh, I, the Note, my first Samsung was a Note, like a Note 2, and I love it. So it's the, it's the latest, the last Note before they discontinued that whole phone line. And you're so sad. Note 20, yeah, so it's two years old. Um, also, just for those of you that are also on a budget like us um we almost never buy our phones new no that's what i was saying we, we never we very rarely do unless it's like brand new but the phone is still like three years old um yeah we'll we'll buy it new that way but it's still cheaper than buying it when it just first comes out yeah we have a device pit stop here in lexington and i think in a lot of places it's it used to be called laptop exchange but i think it's a chain right yeah i think it is um and our local one is freaking awesome. Like their customer service is amazing. They always have like a good amount of stock and you know, we can call first and be like, Hey, do you have any of these in? And they'll tell us yes or no. And we've bought, I would say over the last, what, five years, six, maybe seven years, mm -hmm. almost all of our devices yeah, this, from them. This iPhone, my Android phone, uh, my laptop, our daughter's phone. <laughs> yeah. We get everything from them. They're yeah. fantastic. Um, Angel2278 said, talk back, talk back on the Samsung I struggle with. Do you have any issues? Or just the standard talk back issues, right? I mean, it is, for, for the best talk back experience, and Carrie will back me up on this, you want to go to a Google phone, to the Google, one of the latest Google Pixel phones, um, because that's a Google phone. It's an Android-based phone. So um, if you're on something else, and especially if you're on an older device, like my if I were on a Samsung 22 Ultra, like the latest phone, it's going to, TalkBack will perform better on that than it does on my Note 20 Ultra, which is two years old. So newer phones are gonna perform better and Google phones will perform the best. Okay. Um, Jan's Wiz was asking, did you consider a Fitbit? I did. I looked at the Fitbit, um, and for the things that Rachel wanted to do on her new smartwatch, um, it didn't uh, check all the boxes for me. Yeah, trust me. I whenever I need, if, especially if it's something that I know Rachel wants, I do all the research. <laughs> Which is why I never, hardly ever buy my own technology. It's almost always well. I mean, I buy it but i don't choose it <laughs> sam almost always chooses it for me because yeah i mean this time he bought it for me because it's christmas gift but even if i'm gonna upgrade my own stuff sam does all the research for me yeah I get although excited. once i find something i like 
I usually will only just go up to the next yeah. version of that thing. Like I, I'm on my second Google Pixel now because I just like it and I don't want to learn something new. Yeah. Um, Blind Elf Knit said, my mom made sure as a teen, <laughs> I knew as a teen to touch type. Best thing ever. Agreed. Yeah. It's such a good skill to have. Yeah. Um, La Hafner said, I want to live by myself, but my family doesn't want me to, and they are no help. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I know. Uh, I, it's, it's definitely possible. Um, I know a guy who's totally blind and he's, as long as I've known him, um, and I think for like 20 something years, he's, he's lived alone. He works at a, at a pizza place, um, and he lives by himself and does it fine. Yeah. Well, so you lived by yourself before. Yeah, um, I was... For a while before I met I guess you did have roommates I, when I met you, but you did live by yourself for a little while before that. Yeah, my, my vision was much better back then, too. No, that's true. And I was in my 20s. I didn't care. <laughs> I mean, you you could live by yourself now. I could. You wouldn't like it. I'd, get, I'd go broke very quickly. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's this? Taxes? What you, I gotta pay taxes? <laughs> you'd, you'd go broke from the IRS fining you. <laughs> There's nobody here to tell me no on buying stuff on Amazon that I don't need. I said that the other day. I was on Amazon looking for something, and I saw it was the dumbest thing. It was like a mask shaped like a Japanese um, demon. Like if you see these Japanese demon paintings shaped like that, and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And then I was like, dude, if my 20-year-old self had Amazon back then, it would have been over. <laughs> I was living by myself. I didn't have anybody to tell me no. And it would have been delivered right to my house. Oh, it would have okay, been. And you were not very good with your money at all. I mean, it's bad. not just that you didn't have anyone to tell you no. You just didn't have much money since at all. Yeah, and, and, and no impulse control, which <laughs> what 20-year-old does, especially a 20-year-old guy. <laughs> Uh, Blind Elf Knit said, thank you for your YouTube series on working. It has given me confidence. Good, good. That's awesome. I was going to ask what people thought. We, I, I wonder if we maybe overloaded it. Um, <laughs> Sam still many. has a couple in the pipeline, and we've decided to spread them out a little, like sprinkle them out maybe one a month or something like that. Just um, to keep doing them because I think they're super valuable. But we noticed the views have gone just down, down, down on them throughout the month. And I think maybe people are like, okay, enough All of right, that already. Enough, yeah. So if you guys don't know, I in December, uh, especially you guys on TikTok, if you're not aware, in, in December, throughout the whole month of December, I've been putting out video interviews with VIPs who are working as part of the Working Blind series and just finding out what other visually impaired people are doing for, for work. And um, I've put out, I think, 13 in December, um, and they really good response even though the views have kind of gone down, really great response. So um, it seems like people are enjoying them, but we're going to continue. I've got a whole list of people to do interviews on, um, and we're going to continue throughout the year. I won't overload you guys like I did in December, but uh, stay tuned to that. So if you haven't seen them, I've got a whole playlist, the Working Blind playlist over on YouTube. Okay. Vendetta363 says, which voiceover voice is your favorite on iPhone? <laughs> I think I'm currently using one of the Siri voices. I think I'm using a male, Siri male voice. I, I fluctuate between the Irish guy. I don't know the names. Um, British Dan, uh, is it Daniel? It's either Daniel or David. I forget. Uh, I do him sometimes. I have used him sometimes. Um, I get very bored. Uh, I also like to have separate voices for both Siri and voiceover. So, um, but I think currently, yeah, I'm on, I'm on one of the Siri voices on voiceover. Um, Angel2278 said, how do I use TalkBack on my Samsung S22? I'm struggling to use it. Do you have TalkBack 101 videos? I've got, yeah. So um, both Carrie, who's on here, Carrie carry on accessibility yeah and um, carrie's actually if she still is, she was earlier she was on both the uh tiktok and the okay youtube so thing. she and i did a um a joint no it wasn't carrie i'm sorry uh it was <laughs> no yes for talkback it was carrie <laughs> because i've got one for voiceover too so um carrie and i did a we partnered up for a series called talkback 101 um and it was basics of talkback um you know things like that and so i've got a playlist carrie probably does on her old channel live accessible 
Carrie has a new channel now. You guys go check out Carrie on Accessibility, but her old channel, Live Accessible, she has a playlist as well. Um, I'm sure if you just go to YouTube and you search Talkback 101, Talkback is one word, Talkback 101, um, you will get, you'll see the playlist. Oh, almost had a sighting of Rachel. <laughs> almost the elusive Rachel. <laughs> in her pajamas <laughs> had to let the dog out <laughs> okay um but talk back also i'm sorry uh to interrupt sorry. just kind of further expand on that you can also if you google talk back gestures or something like that you can print off the entire list of gestures for talk back um so i would you know do that you might need to print them up really big or put them under a cctv or something like that and then also go into the talkback settings and go to the tutorial and practice. There's a practice area there where you can just go in there and kind of play. It's like, it's like a little sandbox where you can play and try things out. And um, it's just like anything, repetition makes it easier. But also keep in mind that talkback doesn't work everywhere, unfortunately. Oh, like every app or every yeah, whatever. Yeah, some, some places it just it's not going to read. Um, and some websites aren't. Yeah, made but... accessible so that talkback can't... it's not talkback's fault it's the website's fault right. sometime as well yeah yeah okay travis steve injustice said i've been a vip for over 10 years and i'm a professional bike mechanic which is awesome pretty cool motorcycles or bicycles i don't know you'll have to let us know travis steve motorcycles or bikes bicycles i love hearing the, the youtube names too <laughs> travis steve injustice that's awesome <laughs> um Old school Deb said, "I love that series." Talking about the the job cool. series, says, I'm, a visually, I'm a visually impaired CRC. I recommend your channel all the time. Awesome, thank you very much. Um, do you like the Samsung Voice Assistant or Talkback better? So here's the thing: um, Samsung actually got rid of Voice Assistant. Um, kind of, it's it's kind of weird. Um, I thought they they both had their pros and cons um, and it was nice to have both of them because whenever I'd go to a website and talk back wouldn't work um, because for a while there I had hardware button shortcuts for both of them so when talk back wouldn't read something I would quickly switch over to voice assistant and and that would oftentimes read it for me um, so it was nice to have both of them but then talk uh, or uh, Samsung got rid of voice assistant they kind of merged together into one thing so we don't have it anymore Okay, uh, Ben Swagger got a iPod Touch for Christmas, but the battery is they're mm. losing battery really bad. Do you have any suggestions for that? You can take it to a place and repair shop and get a new battery. Um, iPod Touch, it's probably an older. I don't even think they make them anymore, do they? I have no um, idea. Yeah, so I'm sure they're. I'm sure they'll be able to get a battery because uh, I think I think Apple kind of like recently went to where they're not supporting third-party hardware and stuff and not letting companies switch out things like that but the iPod should be older so it's still supportive I don't know I would call around and just see if you can get a new battery because I think that's the only thing you can do yeah um Hamad said how can we learn touch typing it's the first time I'm hearing this term I did try to memorize the keyboard and it helped a little that's basically what touch typing is is memorizing the keyboard so that you aren't trying to look at the keyboard yeah and um you know Sam suggested that one the touch what is it talking typing teacher yeah or tutor we're not I'm sure Google that real quick. <laughs> but um that worked really well for him um but it, otherwise he was constantly hunched over the keyboard and it was just killing his back um, Delaney Conklin said, how can I be a part of the Working Blind series? Um, you can email Sam. The email address is sam at theblindlife.net. Um, just know he has received a lot, a lot, a lot of um, emails about it. So it will take him quite a while to get through them all. He also, um, we're going to have to figure out how to figure out you know, basically, we do need people that can express themselves well um, on camera and stuff as well, because not on camera, but like audio, because, um, you know, we want to make sure that it's a, a someone that can get their points across. And um, unlike me right now, who's stumbling all over what I'm saying, but basically just <laughs> <laughs> we want it to be enjoyable video to watch, too. And so that's a little concerning because most of the people that are on there now, Sam 
either already knew or has seen their videos or something. So he knew that they would be able to answer questions well and get yeah. their information out there. Or they just had such an interesting job or story that he wanted to include them. But he has gotten a lot of emails, which he's super excited about. But it's going to be a while before he, you know, not everyone will be included. Yeah. And he's only probably going to do like one a month now. So um, it'll take a while to get through them all. But by all means reach out send me an email yeah so uh to answer the question about the typing so it's called type uh, talking typing teacher they sell it at maxi aids um it's 99 dollars. it's it's an expensive program um and it's on cd so if you have a, a, a computer that doesn't have a cd drive you're, you might be in trouble um but talking typing teacher it's it's teaches you how to type without looking at the keyboard and it does it for visually impaired everything is read out loud to you that it has games you can do challenges. Um, you can practice in improving your speed and everything like that. It's, it's got these two main characters, um, Easy Eddie, and I, I forget what their names are, but they're really cheesy. Um, but the other thing, the free one is for American Printing House for the Blind. I just looked it up. It's called Typer, T-Y-P-E-R, and it's on the American Printing House for the Blind's website. If you just Google, I just Googled APH typing, and it was the first option. And that's an online browser-based um, talking typing teacher. <laughs> it talks out, it, it teaches you how to type and it does it for blind people. So um, that one's free and it's, since it's browser-based, you can do it on any device, you know, a Mac, PC, a phone. So check that out if you want a free option. Um, Travesty and Justice said bicycles. Started when he was 17 and became visually impaired at the age of 25. Travesty, you should check out, I did a video with a buddy named Charlie Collins, who was actually in the Working Blind series. Um, I did a video where I went to his house up in, yeah, up in um, Connecticut, and he showed me his bike setup. He's, he's low vision like I am, and he, he has his bike, he has an electric bike. And it's one of those pedal assist bikes, <clears throat> but he's got it kitted out with radar and, you know, sounds and all this kind of stuff that makes it safe for him to ride uh, with traffic and stuff. It's pretty cool. Charlie Collins. Um, Kay Haney 20 says iOS has a typing tutor app that is great for VI also. Oh, nice. Yeah, Mike Wheeler said they discontinued making iPod Touch. Mm. Um, someone, uh, Blind Larry was saying he has diabetic retinopathy and was when asking what yours is. I have Stargardt's disease, which is a, a form, it's an inherited retinal disease, and it, it's a type of dry macular degeneration. It's a juvenile form, so um, usually it's macular MACD is age related you get it when you get older but mine kicked in when I was 11 um, here in Kentucky we I guess apparently lead the nation in diabetic retinopathy um, and sad. diabetes so um, we're number one <laughs> woohoo that's not something we're to be proud one. of we're number one Roy Schneider just said, if we were on a forum or maybe something like a WhatsApp group, we could ask questions and help each other out all through the month. Does some, something like this currently exist? You have that. Uh... I have a Discord, um, the Blind Life Discord. Um, honestly, I never get on it. But... but other people could get on it and talk to each other, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's open. Um, the link is in the video description for all my videos. So you can go into my, one of my videos and get the link for the Discord. Um, I don't have a WhatsApp, public WhatsApp for that kind of thing. Um, but the, the Discord's totally available. And, you know, like you guys in the comments right now could absolutely like be like, hey, why don't we try to start getting together on such and such day mm -hmm. at such and such time so that you guys can catch each other. And um, yeah, because I think, I mean, that's one of the things that's awesome about the live chats is how people in the comments Interact, respond yeah. to each other and answer each other and help each other out i mean and especially when you have people in here you know there's some people that just have been in it for a long time and have dug deep into some of these topics and really know a lot like carrie is invaluable to have in these comments because she can answer a ton of questions about especially like android tech mm -hmm. um so i think it's you know a lot of these people have a lot of amazing knowledge that that they can share the nice thing about discord too is it it's 
can be text based or you can do your voice too. Is it set up that it can accept voice? I think so. We haven't been on there in a really long yeah, time. Yeah, I'm not a, much of a Discord person. <laughs> but it is, it is, it is just sitting there. It's there. It's there and available if anybody wants to use it. Yeah. Um. Mackenzie Parker said, "For the Typer program from APH, do you need an account? Do you know?" No, I don't think so. I think it's literally you. You go into the website and you click start, and it just. It's very. It's not as robust as the standalone talking typing teacher program um but like i said it's free and it will at least i would assume it does all the basics the basic finger movements and stuff um someone just asked who it was that has the the e-bike oh uh charlie collins he, he's not a social media guy he's not no he um he did uh he works he does the thriving blind academy um it's this continuing education kind of program thing for transition age and stuff like that he was at one of my working blind interviews um last week i think i did and uh but yeah if you go to my website or if you search charlie collins the blind life you search the, that on youtube you'll find my videos with him okay um something just popped up yeah someone's inviting you to join the live oh huh. Okay. Um, do you ever feature low vision athletes? I'm a bowler that do not have to use rails. My vision is 21,000 and bowl Ooh. in a sided league and do very well. It's pretty crazy. I do. I've, That's I've, awesome. I feature that. I've got, a, I've got some videos coming out soon um, for blind hockey. So, yeah, reach out to me if you don't mind. Uh, send me an email, sam at theblindlife.net, and uh, we'll see if we can get something going there. I love bowling. I'm actually the best in the family. I think he, you pretty much, I, th I think you've always <laughs> beat everyone else when we, Jacob has maybe beat you before. Yeah. You, I think you usually beat Skylar and I, Yeah. I'm a terrible bowler. We do, we don't bowl with bumpers, but we do give him audio description of, of which they tell pin, me where the pins which are, which pins are up, <laughs> <laughs> which you guys could totally lie and, and cheat. <laughs> we don't though. <laughs> um, Several people are just sharing what their vision impairment is. Nice. Okay, Joker Alice said, you can do calls on the voice channels on Discord. They're set by default. So. Right, yeah. I think, yeah, so I think I've got that all set up. I had my son, my 20, at the time, 22-year-old son helped me set it all up. <laughs> and then logged in like twice and haven't been back on it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should Maybe we should try to do that the next, uh, instead of doing a YouTube live, do a, a, do a Discord Do a Discord thing. Let's get in there now. I'm going over to Discord. <laughs> I'll see you guys there. Do you even have your username and password anymore? Yeah, I think it's set up. I'm not going to do it now, but. Um, ben Swagger said, Discord is amazing because it knows that you're using a screen reader. Uh, yes. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I liked it. And, and it was... As far as being set up for low vision, it had some good, some good qualities, high contrast and easy to understand, and big icons and things like that. Um, Travis Dave and Justice said, "My fiance hates that I beat her in bowling every time." <laughs> <laughs> um, Blind Elf Knit says, "I'm surprisingly good at axe throwing, and that is a lot of fun. We've been wanting to do that, and we haven't done it." Yeah, we've we got need, we've got we a place here. It. Yeah, we want to try that. Yeah. That'll be on the next blind challenge. It'll be axe throwing. <laughs> we haven't done a blind challenge at all. Well, I guess your My, your, your flight one was kind yeah. of a blind challenge, but it flying, wasn't, yeah. it's, it's probably not in that. Um, did you put it in the blind challenge playlist? It is in the blind challenge. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen my, my video, I think it was back in October where I went and flew an airplane as part of the blind challenge. Go check that out. Uh, it's actually called Flying Blind. Um, I tend to use that for everything working blind flying blind driving blind um <laughs> 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 laughing blind <laughs> drinking my soda blind um <laughs> but yeah check it out where i flew an airplane over georgia it was awesome it was a lot of fun <laughs> travis steven justice says we have done the axe the axe throwing we love mini golf and she cuts me no slack I also Good. cut Sam zero slack. None. Don't go easy on me just because I can't see. <laughs> we don't. Our whole family is very hard on Sam. We like, no to, fair. We like to really beat him down. <laughs> but you know I can't see I'm blind. 
Blind Larry said the bowling out bowling alley out here has an axe throwing place outside. That's like that's perfect. The best of both worlds. Oh, it's cool too because some of those bowling alleys we have one here that does the um, black light glow in the dark kind of things, and so it really makes the <laughs> pins glow. Skyler's here. Skyler just made an appearance. Hey guys. Hey, Skyler, <laughs> I'll close my eyes so it'll focus on you. There, there she you is. are. Where's the He's on both. He's on oh, he's on TikTok, TikTok and, and Facebook and uh, YouTube. Hey, folks. <laughs> Did you come in for anything in particular? Uh, just... like, That's where my drink was. Yeah, you left it in here. <laughs> when you came in to show me your painting, you left it here. Um, can I have a little dip in there for a bit? Yeah. For three hours? Yeah. That's cool. I thought I might be home for dinner. That's okay. That's fine. Okay. All right. We're doing tikka masala. <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, out. Out. Right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Sorry, guys. We we still have a family here. Yeah. <laughs> family duties. Um. What was I? I was getting ready to say something. We were talking about the flying blind. Oh no, the bowling alley. I was talking about. We have the light up ones with the bl um black light, so the pins just glow, which makes it easier for me. Oh yeah. The pins glow white down there at the end, so it's easier to. Yeah, the bowling part's easier, but navigating the rest of the bowling alley is <laughs> yeah. a lot more difficult. <laughs> I'm tripping over everything, but I can see the pins much better. <laughs> we went to a restaurant for Christmas Eve, and it was a um, Korean hot pot place. So it's kind of like fondue, but it was broth. And then they bring out the food, and you put it in there, and you cook it and and stuff. And it was it was cool, but man, that. That restaurant was dark. Um, I had a really hot bowl right here in front of me. <laughs> it was also really loud. Yeah. It was, it was hard to hear each other. It had, a, it had a robot delivering food that was singing uh, Christmas carols as it, like like Johnny Five from Short Circuit rolling down the aisles singing Christmas carols, bringing people food. It was pretty crazy. Like I didn't realize our city was fancy enough to have a robot server. <laughs> That screams Christmas music the whole time. <laughs> um, Sneezy the Bobtail Cat said, My husband gets nervous when I use my kitchen knives. He has perfect vision and knows I don't see well. Yeah. I don't get nervous. I, I'm, I'm just glad Sam cooks more than I do. <laughs> no, because you know what? And I, something I recommend people is, you know, I, I worked in restaurants for many, many years. And um, I do recommend that because restaurants are fun. But, but lear getting, learning how to use a knife and getting good knife skills, how to use it properly. Um, it's super helpful for the blind because I don't even look at it. I just chop, 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 chop. Um, I don't need to worry about what, it, you know, seeing what I'm chopping because I know I do it all by feel. <laughs> Mark Noah Sotelo said, everybody always seems to be out of town or has a family emergency when I set up my blind archery challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you should tell them about your granddad. Yeah, yeah, my, my granddad, um, who... Many, many years ago. Yeah, who I featured in my Flying Blind video. Um, <clears throat> he, this was back when I was like, you know, seven or something. He had, and a friend s created a an archery system for the blind. It was called the Sightless Sight Shooting System. And... Um, did it use audio or what did it do? Yeah, it used like bells. Like whenever you were lined up on target, the bell would ring and you would let go. I don't know because like I said, I was so young and it was long before my sister or I were, vision, you know, diagnosed. So it had nothing to do with us. He just Oh, happened. really? I didn't know that. No, yeah. Yeah. It was way before we were blind. Oh. In fact, I never even saw it. It just, they told me about it. So it had nothing to do with me. Maybe it's uh, all a lie. <laughs> maybe they made it up. <laughs> <laughs> Always building him up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anna Maria, or Anna Marie, I'm not sure what you meant. It says, do you recommend a good visual technology program for the iMac? But I don't know what she means by good visual technology program. Do you? Yeah. Um, Can you elaborate, please? Yeah. they. I mean, the, the Macs have built-in, like, screen reader and screen magnifier. Um, just like iPhones and iPads, it's, it's Zoom magnifier and voiceover and it works really well so um if that is what you're talking about yeah they i would look into using those 
Um, the Checkered Eye Project, this is for everybody in the comments, but Sam, you can answer it too, but it says, if you're in a meeting in which everyone states their name and then describes themselves, what's your description? Um, I feel like you're on an interview right now. I know. <laughs> you're like, can someone else go first? <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a sm uh, smart aleck that I, I would probably lead with ruggedly handsome. <laughs> Even though that's not something a descriptor of me, um, bald with a beard, I, I a, a beautiful beard. Is I it supposed say. to be a visual descriptor or like just as just oh, how know. you would describe yourself as a person? Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting because maybe it's however you take it, and you took it as a visual descriptor. <laughs> yeah. What do you look like? Everyone, you need to answer in the in the comments. What would what would yours be? Um, Blind Elf Knit said, I did fondue last year and had a tricky time with the depth perception of Stargards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, this was nice because the hot pot, the pot, it, you have your own individual pot immediately in front of you. Whereas like it, the melting pot, for instance, it's the pot is more in the center of the table and you're sharing it with others. I feel like this was a little easier. And you didn't, you weren't putting, you didn't have like a skewer that you were doing things with. You just like either hold on to it with your chopsticks while it's in the water or you just dump it in and then pull it out with a ladle which i think made it a little easier yeah um i uh, when i flew to the czech republic back in 2019 um i went out with this company and there was there was like 40 of us there and we were all lined up in these tables and they we sit down and there's grills in the middle of the tables and i'm like oh no and sure enough they just brought out plates of raw food and you just grilled up your own food and it was dark and I'm like thinking, oh, this is a nightmare. And luckily they were all friendly and they helped me, but I'm like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. um, I am, I'm a little bit, fondue is a little bit easier because yeah, like you said, you just stick your thing in there and, and um, you know, I just keep track of which skewer sticking out is mine, but um, the grill was really, really tough. Okay, uh, Too Crispy is asking any tips on my L-H-O-N condition. And I was just going to say, isn't that what uh, Derek has? Derek has, yeah, um, Lieber's uh, Hereditary Optic Neuropathy, is what it stands for. <laughs> um, he has it, so... He's not active on his channel, but he has a lot of good videos still on his channel, and his channel is called Life After Sight Loss. Yep, Life After Sight Loss. I, I think it's actually just called Derek Daniel. Oh, but if okay. you search either one, you'll find his channel. But he has um, he has some good. They're not necessarily specifically about Liebers, but he has yeah. good content on there, and he has good content. You know, people earlier were asking about like mental health and vision. He he has a lot of good content, kind of about that type of stuff about yeah. dealing with it and dealing with the diagnosis and and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know much about Liebers, Liebers, Liebers. Um, yeah, sorry, I might be saying that wrong. So I wouldn't really be able to speak on it much. It manifests very similar to mine, though, with a central vision loss, from what I understand. So did, did Libby clarify? Libby's uh, checkered eye. Uh, not yet, but she asked that quite a while ago. Oh, okay. I just was very slow getting to it. We've had very uh, active. That's awesome. Yeah, very active chat today. This was Rachel's idea to come on day after Christmas. She's oh, like, no, I just ended the I just ended the live, I think. Which one? Okay, no, I didn't. No, you don't have control on yours. Well, I'm on your name. It's your phone. Oh. <laughs> I'm still going with both here. Okay, I think. Well, it wasn't the. It wasn't YouTube. It was TikTok. Yeah, I'm just. I switched it up. It said it ended, but it looks like it's still going. I hope it's still going. Sorry if I messed that up. I got something on my screen, but I can't see what it is. So, and I think I'm kind of crooked. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it. Unless you just moved it, it, I think it looked okay. All right. Okay, good. They said, no, you're still live. Good. I swiped up and it said it ended the live stream, but maybe I was quick enough coming back down. I was swipe. trying to, I thought I was swiping up the comments, but I swiped up the whole screen. I was a little aggressive with my swiping. Um... I'm curious while we're, while we're answering questions here, I'm curious if anybody got any cool assistive tech for Christmas. If anybody took advantage of deals or, or you know received something from a family member or anything like that you guys can let us know in the comments 
Um, Sneezy the Bobtail Cat said, I'm glad you're live today. Today is my 50th birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Sneezy. <laughs> <laughs> the Bobtail Cat. Bobtail Cat. <laughs> I'm assuming Sneezy is, is the actual cat. I'm assuming name. so. The, the picture is of a cat. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Um, Captain Blind said, hi, Sam. Hello, Captain. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Okay, I think I have caught up on comments at this point. So if you had asked for something and we did not answer it, ask again. Ask again. <laughs> and we will uh, try to get on it. So um, I have a question for everybody. So, you know, we've discussed this Discord thing a little bit. Would people be interested in maybe next month or a couple weeks from now or something if we instead of doing a live stream like this if we did discord instead um give us feedback on that and tell us what you think um yeah yeah okay is e too crispy is asking if eSight's recommended or which tech is good for central vision I mean, some people love eSight. Yes, eSight works well for some people. It did not work at all for me. Um, so that's why it's hard for me to say what's what's recommended. Um, I don't have central vision. I have central vision loss. I only have peripheral. So that's also, you know, might not work the same for me. Um, eSight, any of those. So the, the main reason why those like eSight, the older new eyes, uh, the older cyber eyes, which new eyes and cyber eyes aren't even really around anymore. New eyes is, but um, the reason why they didn't really work for me is because the screens were too small, and because I don't have the central vision, I'm utilizing more of my peripheral, so I need larger screens. Uh, so for you, if you have central vision, then that the, that might work well for you. Um, I do know that the latest version of eSight, the eSight Four, is the best one I've tested. I've tested them all, and it's by far the best one um, and a little insider um, tip or not tip but uh, information Carrie asked about anything I'm, I'm looking forward to in 2023 um, there's some rum rumblings that eSight's gonna be coming out with a new device in 2023 like a new version of eSight or something totally new I've heard kind of a revamp they're gonna uh, switch it up on us so we'll see i don't know anything much more than that um some of this i'm really not allowed to talk about but uh <laughs> so we'll see about that um also there's a new patriot new patriot viewpoint apparently coming soon so there are some new cool things coming down down the pipeline okay um T. Dabney said, thank you for using this platform to share awareness. I had no idea how much blindness is a spectrum. I think most people have no idea how much blindness is a spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the, one of our catchphrases that we, we keep telling people. It's a spectrum. Yeah. That is true. Um, Miranda Thompson said, I have starters and I just checked out a new piece of tech called the Transformer. Uh, a little... CCTV transformer. That's the only transformer I know of. It's a little um, like desktop CCTV video magnifier. Yeah, let us know, Miranda, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so Lala Storm is voting yes on Discord. Okay. Um. Uh, who else? That means I'm gonna have to go in and relearn how to use Discord. <laughs> Joker Alice said yes. Joshua Shram said yes. Uh, someone else said, what is Discord? So I, I think that, I don't think we would use it all the time because I think there's enough people that aren't familiar with it that, that yeah. know how to just join a live that don't know how to get onto Discord. Discord, among other things, is is like a um, a chat. It's kind of like the old school AOL um, chat room. But you can do a lot more. You can do a lot of stuff on Discord. Yeah. Videos and live events and things like that also. Yeah, but it is it is familiar to old IRC or, or yeah. AOL chat rooms. I think at its, at its heart, that's what it is mainly. Yeah. Um, Captain Blind said, hey, have you seen the blinking sidewalks in South Korea in the road to help the blind? I'm thinking like crosswalks maybe. No, but you know what? We need to plan a trip to Asia. They've got the coolest stuff. Um, I saw someone did a video where, you know, we have the bumps at the sidewalks and uh, at crosswalks and stuff. Um 
over in Asia, they have like tracks. They have like tracks built into the this, the crosswalk for the cane. So you just your it leads your cane across. So you go the right direction. Oh, just, that's cool. And or or they'll have a track that leads to a restroom or something like that, and it's just for a cane. That's tip. cool. Yeah, they got some cool stuff over there. I haven't seen the blinking streets. I'll have to check that out. Joker Alice said, Sam, although my vision is different than yours, the video you had describing how you see was helpful since I have no central on the right eye and it's a little similar to yours. Yeah, I've, I've found that's kind of the way it is for a lot of people. Um, even, you know, I'll talk to people with RP, which is um, most, the majority of RP is central vision, um, or excuse me, peripheral vision loss and uh, tunnel vision. And they will say the same thing, that it's, for a lot of them, it's not like a big black you know outside area it's the brain tries to fill it in same way so it's it's not exactly the same but it's kind of similar i'm going to be doing one for night blindness very soon actually um sh kind of the same concept visually showing how i see at night or how i don't see at night actually um so that should be helpful too hopefully um okay maybe when it's not you know 20 below and i can actually go outside and record <laughs> when it warms up a little bit hey everybody that's in tiktok i have a stupid question so i see before some people they have a thing that looks like a a triangle with a number by it and then something else that kind of looks like a target an apple i don't know with a number by it and then there's like these gifts and roses and stuff flying around like what the heck is all that stuff I need a, I need a TikTok live tutorial I think because I don't know what any of that means yeah I've seen that too are people say thanks for the roses or whatever what does that all mean yeah I don't know I am not familiar excuse me TikTok for a second I gotta <laughs> lean in. Say Sam's gonna put his forehead real close to the camera here for a there's minute there's something on here I gotta get rid of <laughs> oh, that's funny um yeah larry if if we do a if we do a uh okay what am i trying to say discord discord maybe sam maybe we make a really quick short video beforehand where you can show people how to join it you know where you just re do a screen record yeah something like that and in the, the you basically would just go to the link um but i think you do have to have do you have to start an account in discord first to join probably you're asking the wrong person. Okay. People in the comments, do you have to have a Discord account before you can um, join a Discord? I'm assuming yes, but let us know for sure. But, Larry, we will try to uh, make sure that people know how before we do it. Um, Delaney's asking how our Christmas was and said this year was the second year in a row that my family and I all had COVID the week of Christmas. Oh, no. <laughs> Sky, okay. Skyler had COVID last Christmas. Yeah. Um, but this one was good. We we kind of had a low-key Christmas. We did Christmas with Rachel's family the week before. Um, and so this weekend, we, we went out to eat. My son came over, went out to eat Christmas Eve. And then he came back over yesterday um, around 2 o'clock. And we always do appetizers for dinner on Christmas Day. I like to call it appetizer palooza. Appetizer palooza. And uh, so we did that. Um, I just had a lazy day. Yeah, we have a very low key Christmas. Like, we may not get out of our pajamas. Yeah. And um, Skylar's here overnight, so she opens her presents in the morning. But Jacob doesn't get here till the afternoon, after he's been at his mom's. And so then we do our appetizers and everything with him, and we just kind of hung out. Very yeah. low key. It was yeah. nice. Had a white Christmas, which was not we don't do that get that very often. Yeah, which was and, cool. and a frigid Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like most of the country. Yes. Okay. Okay, someone said... That means they're giving you a gift. They're putting money into your TikTok account with roses. Oh. I think it shows you're getting gifts. You can exchange for money. Sending you gifts. The blue triangle shows how much gifting. Wow. I thought it, I thought it had something to do with I that. I had no idea. Yeah. We'll have to figure that out. Well, thank you, people. I know Sam has gotten a couple of roses during this live stream. I just didn't know what it meant. Thank you. Thank you for the roses. <laughs> and on YouTube, you guys can do super chats if you want. <laughs> now, if, if anybody is, wants to, you know, I, I, I 
like to point out that we do have memberships on YouTube. You can become a member of The Blind Life. I do a monthly Zoom call with my members. Um, so it's, it's more one-on-one -on -one talking with people. Um, there's some other perks that come with membership. You can also, um, underneath my videos, there's a thanks button. So you can give a thanks. It's kind of like a super chat, but you don't have to be in a live event like this to do it. You can do it anytime. Uh, here in, in live streams, you can do the super th chats and, and that, all of that's very much appreciated, uh, appreciated. We, all of that goes right back into making the channel better. Um, and apparently you can give roses on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> um, Angel said, I just want to say thank you for your videos. I did nothing at home being blind until your videos. Ah, well, thank you. Hopefully you're you're doing everything now. Yeah, there's 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 a lot of good uh, blind uh, TikTok channels. Um, Bendy Blind Blonde is a nice one. You yep. really like her. She has ushers. She has ushers. Yeah, which is like RP plus hearing loss. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Um, but she you can watch her do like trapeze stuff. Only like she's like circus stuff. Yeah, she does she does really cool stuff, and she does not let it. Um, stop her I mean she and she's also though really open about like when she is struggling and stuff which I think is important to yeah. uh, you know it's not like life is perfect and easy for her but no. um, she does cool stuff um, Sneezy the bobtail cap said I just got the number one gifter badge oh I don't I don't I don't understand it all, but congratulations. Don't know what that is, but awesome. You go. We're still learning. <laughs> Angel said, I go bowling and archery and riding a bike. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so Mike Wheeler said, if you want to join Discard in, uh, Discord sorry, and do not have an account, if you just look at the description in Sam's YouTube videos and it has the link, click on it, and then it will prompt you to make an account. Okay. So if you guys, was that on YouTube, Mike said that? Or was that on TikTok? Um, that was on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, TikTok, I don't know if you could hear, Rachel, but if you click on the Discord link in my um, video descriptions on my YouTube channel, then that will take you right to it and prompt you to create an account to join us on Discord. Okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Sneezy. She said that was TikTok that posted that I did that. So I read it like she said that she was telling that she just got number one. Oh, no, TikTok said that. Sorry. That's how I That's Obviously, how I Obviously, I'm having a hard time. I feel like an old lady right now. <laughs> Grandma, you don't know how to use the TikToks. No, I, I, that's how I rec or understood it. <laughs> oh... Mike Wheeler has been a member for 10 months. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, if you're if you're a member on YouTube, also you get a little badge, a little icon in front of your your name, and um, it even tells you how long the person's been a member, uh, which is pretty cool. Sometimes I send out member only exclusive content. Yeah, and uh, discounts for um... discounts for merch merchandise. Yeah, and you said the monthly. Yeah, the monthly Zoom call. Zoom call, yeah. Um, see me, uh, the see me cane. He said, "Have a good holidays, you two. We'll be sending the updated see me cane, hopefully in a week or two. Yeah, awesome, Kelvin. Thank you. Yeah, let me know because it looks like people are eager to learn more about it. Don Fernandez said, I go to the shooting range, and then in parentheses, I leave my cane and some sunglasses at home, LOL. <laughs> so I did that as part of my blind challenge series. I went to the shooting range um, with some friends of mine, and it was fun. I, I tried a bunch of different challenges, I guess you could say. One of them was I put the target as far back as it would go, all the way back to the end of the track, and I unloaded an entire clip into this thing. And then I, we brought it up, and there wasn't a single bullet hole in the whole target. I missed it completely. Like, seriously, I didn't hit it. That was like, that was like 18 shots. I didn't hit it once. <laughs> I'm like, okay, now we're doing it as close as possible. And I tore it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, Harpreet asked, how would you cancel the membership once you join? And I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I, I'm assuming it's easy to do. I just have never looked into it. And then asked how much the membership and the different tiers are. Um, the And I don't remember exactly, but I know the least expensive one is 99 cents a month. And I know that because that's what I am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> you um, No, yeah. I have two tiers, 99 cents and a $4.99. Um, those are the lowest amounts that YouTube would let me make them. So I wanted to make it as affordable as possible for people. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm not sure how to cancel it. I would... Just go on YouTube and search how to cancel a YouTube membership, and I'm sure there's going to be tutorial videos. That's yeah. how I figure out how to do everything. I go to go to the University of YouTube. Blind Larry said, "My friends want me to go do a mirror maze. Anyone ever tried?" That sounds oh lord! Horrible. <laughs> Wear a helmet. <laughs> I mean, I hate a mirror maze, and I don't have, you know. Yeah. Uh, low vision. Oh, that would be terrible. I feel like you would be stuck in there forever. Yeah. I just have to like set up camp and <laughs> <laughs> Um well that's like the escape rooms. I love the idea of an escape room and I would love to the family to go do an escape room, but I would be useless in there. I there's I guarantee they're not accessible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're not. Yeah. Do you have these clues in large print? <laughs> So. And I'm sure there's rooms that are dark and you'd be tripping all over oh, everything. Yeah. 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 Um, although, although I'm sorry, just to add, if you do go to the, some of these conferences, like I remember CSUN last, at the beginning of this year, it was, it was March of this year, um, they had American Printing House for the Blind, I think, is put on their own escape, escape room. And you had to work together. Like somebody had to know Braille. If you didn't know Braille, you were not getting out of the room. Oh. And somebody had to be low vision, you know, because there were some low vision aspects to it. So if you were so totally you to, blind. So you had to team up with. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't get to do it, but hopefully this next year I'll be able to do it. That's cool. Yeah. Um, Maybe do a video on that. Uh, so Don Fernandez said, is it all about tech or question mark? I'm assuming you're talking about his YouTube channel. Um, and it's focused a lot on assistive technology but it's not completely like just this past month he did a whole series on working blind and interviewed a bunch of different people asking them a bunch of different vips that have different all different types of careers asking them about their jobs what kind of assistive technology they use for their jobs what kind of education they needed for their jobs mm -hmm. how their blindness affects their jobs and all that kind of stuff and i mean he's and there's a there's a variety but a lot of it focuses on assistive technology yeah i it's the largest channel for assistive technology um on the internet but i also do i like to say i focus I don't on no there's arguably that guy in france <laughs> <laughs> no comment um <laughs> but i also I, I say that i also focus on the life side of the blind life because um, i do those interviews um you know i do tips and tricks videos um, some f talking about adaptive sports. I mean, yeah, I try to do all kinds of things, but it is mostly technology because that's what I, I'm an, I'm an AT um, trainer in my day job. So that's what I'm surrounded by. Um, Mike Wheeler said a good way to go through a mirror slash glass thing maze is to look at the ground. Yeah, I, that's what that I, I thought sense. about. Yeah. Yeah. Or just head first. Um, Harpreet was asking if you have YouTube premium, would that be an extra charge on top of paying for YouTube premium? Yes. Yes. It's, it's a separate, separate thing. thing. And car thief just became a member. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for being a member. And uh, Mike also said a cane comes in handy in the mirror <laughs> maze, which I'm betting it would. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to have to wrap this up soon. We've been on here for like, it's 4.45. Oh, wow. We started at three. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're approaching two hours. <laughs> yeah, because I have to go. I'm installing a new smart thermostat. I'm going to install this here. I've got my, um, uh, where are you? I'm going to use my pa Patriot Viewpoint head headset 
to install this smart thermostat. Um, hopefully upgrade our system here. We did, we have two systems in our house and we, we did the downstairs one a couple weeks ago and then doing the upstairs. So might see some pictures or something, Instagram posts or something about that. I'm, I'm excited about this. Yeah. Cause our, our current thermostat is not very accessible for Sam at all. No, it is horrible. He hates it. It makes him angry. <laughs> it makes me want to punch kittens. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys. Anything else, baby? I don't think so. Oh, short and sassy. Yes, he does have a video about that headset. He has that. Vid he has videos about a lot of headsets. A lot of headset. This headset I, I just talked about. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the Patriot Viewpoint. Um, if you search his YouTube channel, it's on his YouTube channel. But if you search his YouTube channel, Patriot Viewpoint you'll see it yep Patri chances are if you search youtube for patriot viewpoint his video will be one of the first ones that pops up yeah. most likely yeah but yeah this that, is... and he he has the iris vision too which is i would say those are very very similar very similar and he likes them both a lot yeah i use i use this patriot viewpoint to build my computer that i'm using right now um i've installed a, two thermostats I installed my first thermostat using the Iris Vision. I installed the second one using the Patriot Viewpoint. So it, it helps me see all those fine detail things. Works really well. So, Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate it. And we hope everybody had wonderful holidays and is gearing up for a, a, a safe and happy new year. Yep. Hey, a couple questions really quick, Sam. Sorry. Okay. Um, someone asked what kind of thermostat is that this is the sensi s-e-n-s-i i believe which he has not tried out yet i have not tested it um i it, it had good reviews uh the one that we put in downstairs is the new amazon smart thermostat the one that they just released a couple months ago and it's super affordable we got it on black friday for like 40 bucks or something like that um i think normally it's it's around 50 60 dollars so it's not too bad for a smart thermostat and it's all done through the amazon app so the amazon app is pretty accessible um so it's 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 a good one i would recommend it um i mean yeah, i think you can control it with the echo too right yeah you uh, both of these you can control your voice through amazon echo google home all of that so i'm sure i will do some follow-up videos about these yeah, and then Leslie McIntyre, um, she asked if you would do some cooking tips videos, which you have done a couple. You should do some more. I've done several. I've got I've got um, lots of cooking and kitchen related content. Um, if you go onto my YouTube channel and search on my channel, so there's a way to search just my videos, um, and you put in a keyword like kitchen or cooking or something like that, you should find some videos. Yeah, because Sam, he really does do the majority of the cooking in our house. Yeah. Well, I, I, spent, I worked for like 20-something years in a restaurant, so I, I enjoy cooking. Yeah. All right. I think we're ready to wrap it up. All I right. I hope you guys all have had a great um, uh, holiday season and have a fantastic new year. And we will see you all soon. Yeah. Let me jump back over here so I can actually end our live stream. All right, I'll, I, I'll try to end the TikTok live stream. Okay. Thank you, everybody, both on YouTube and TikTok. Follow us, The Blind Life, everywhere. Love you. Love your faces. We'll see you next time. <laughs> okay, that didn't end it. <laughs> Let me try and end it here.